Happy Friday and welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to be talking about something that is so, so long overdue and that is clothing and wardrobe and style and all of that good stuff. I just want to give you guys an overview of tips that I've learned and ways to really get the most out of your wardrobe and also talk about some of my favorite pieces right now that I know a lot of you have been asking me where I got them, including this dress that I wore on Snapchat last night because that's when I was planning on doing this video, but life happened and I didn't. I've spent so much time wondering how I should go about this video, whether I wanted to do a lookbook or a try on haul or I don't know. And none of it really felt me. What I love doing is just talking with you guys, so why not just do that? I am going to show you guys a lot of what I'm talking about. So I guess it is kind of a lookbook, but a laid back lookbook. <laughs> I also want to say a big huge a thank you to Latote for sponsoring this video. Just a little explanation about what Latote is. It is a fashion subscription box. So I know you guys know I'm sure a lot about like beauty subscription boxes, but this is all for clothing and accessories. They allow you to rent unlimited pieces at a low monthly price and you're not pressured to send back by a certain time or to get a certain amount of pieces. You literally keep the pieces as long as you'd like and you send them back and can get new pieces whenever you want. You can do this as often or as little as you'd like. So rather than having items clog up your wardrobe that you're not really wearing anymore, you keep them, you wear them, when you're over it, you send them back. And they actually style your box for you. So once you fill out your fit and style questionnaire, you don't have to do anything. They pick the pieces for you. But before they ship it, you're allowed to swap things out. So it's kind of creepy how accurate it was. I remember I was like going through the website and liking the things that I like to kind of show them an idea of my style. And I got an alert that my box was styled and I went to go look at it. And they literally were my absolute favorite pieces I had seen. And I was a little freaked out. I was like, how do they know? So I'm just gonna keep these as long as I want and then just ship it back to them and I'll get a new tote in a few days. So I don't know, I love new things. Like I get obsessed with newness that sometimes I think it's good because it's new. Like I could shave my head and be like, I love it because it's new and exciting. So being able to have new items and not have to spend a bunch of money is like the greatest thing that's ever happened to me. But also if you do become super attached to an item and don't want to send it back, you can buy it at a special member price, which is like up to 50% off. So I, I don't know those Nike pants. I don't think I can part with them. I was attached from the minute I saw them. <laughs> so thanks to Latote for sponsoring this video. They're going to give you guys 50% off your first month. Simply go to latote.com slash try slash cami. I don't know if I did those slashes opposite. I guess, I don't know. <laughs> I will put that in the description box below so you guys can check it out. Into the actual tips. Tip number one, own less items. I know this sounds absurd because I'm sure most of us, including myself, have lusted after an endless wardrobe and a walk-in closet the size of my apartment but it doesn't always make sense to do so. You forget about items that you have, you end up not wearing things, and you really just end up falling back towards your favorite items anyways. So there's really no need for a never ending wardrobe. Some ways to cut back on the amount of items that you own are to have things that go together. For me, I don't wear a ton of colors, so it's easy to buy within one color scheme. I wear a lot of black, because I live in LA. I wear a lot of white, neutrals, and then a lot of denim. And then I like army green and like pale pinks with denim. I just think it looks really nice. So my wardrobe is mostly within that. Of course, there's exceptions and I have pop of color sometimes, but if you're not like me and you are a little bit more vibrant in your wardrobe, try to buy things that either go together or pick something to have your pop of color. If you wanna wear crazy printed shirts and wild colors, maybe try to buy your bottoms in very basic neutral colors so that any wild color is gonna go with them as well. Also, you can buy pieces that either carry on from day to night 
or even better yet, season to season. Some of these items that I'm gonna show you in this video were actually in my last and first and only other clothing video. I've had them for a long time. An example of this is this long green trench type coat. It's thin, it's lightweight, it's great for every season of the year. I have had this piece for I think five years. That might be a little bit of an exaggeration, but no, I really don't think it is. And I have worn this pretty much in every single way possible. I can wear this in any season and really for any occasion. I can wear it in the fall or in the winter with some pants. I've even worn a sweater under it before. I can wear it with a dress and some heels to make it fancier. And I also often wear it with just a t-shirt and some cut off denim shorts and sandals. It is my most like multi-purpose item. I wear it all the time and it's my favorite color so that helps. Tip number two is to revamp your wardrobe every month or every other month. Now, I don't mean buy new things to go with your wardrobe but going through your own wardrobe. We can easily get stuck in a rut of wearing the same things paired in the same way over and over again. I know I'm really guilty of that. I will buy a new outfit and be like what did I wear before I own this? Because I want to wear it every single day. I feel like it's all I own now. And then a month or so later, I'll buy a new outfit and be like, what was I wearing before this? It's not your clothing that's a problem. It's the creativity in pairing them together. So every month or so, I go through my wardrobe and if I find pieces that I don't really like anymore, I haven't worn it in a while for whatever reason, I challenge myself to create one to three new outfits that I've never worn with this piece. And it has pleasantly surprised me so many times. I've been on the verge of getting rid of items and then they become my new favorite piece and it's like buying a new piece but it's free because you already own it. The best example of this is this Free People sheer gold top, which if you follow my Snapchat, you have probably seen me wear it like 10,000 times in the last couple weeks. I don't know why I've been obsessed with wearing it lately. My mom bought me this, again, probably an exaggeration, but like 10 years ago and I, Loved it. It's really pretty, but I didn't know what to wear with it. And now I wear it all the time. I can wear it under t-shirts for just like a little pop of excitement because it's sparkly or under tank dresses or when I go out, I just wear like a bralette with it and high-waisted pants with a chunky belt. Another example of this is this denim skirt. And the other day I was actually on Instagram and saw this cool outfit that was paired with this like distressed denim skirt. And I was like, I gotta go find a skirt like this. Started looking online and thought, I have a denim skirt in my closet that I never wear. Why not distress it myself? Now I wanna distress it a bit more, but I decided I needed to wear it to an event like 10 minutes before I needed to leave. So I kind of like scraped it up, but I'm gonna distress it a bit more. And now it's a new piece for me that I already owned. On the other side of this, don't keep things forever. You're just gonna clutter your wardrobe and it you won't be able to even know what you have in your wardrobe if you have too much. I have a one year roll. If I have something for a year and I haven't worn it in that time frame, it's gotta go. I'll challenge myself to make a new outfit out of it, but if I can't do it, it needs to leave. And finally, spend smart, not more. If you're buying something that's just on trend, don't spend a ton of money on it. You probably aren't gonna really wear it for over a year. I bought these embroidered denim pants when I was in Spain, just cause I was like, these are so cool and I really wanted floral embroidered pants, but I didn't know how long they were gonna last in my wardrobe. So these were inexpensive. There's something that I'm not gonna be upset with if they don't last me more than a year or so. Just don't waste your money on trendy pieces. Spend your money more on your staple pieces that you're gonna have forever. Okay, so those are my practical fashion tips. Now on to some real shit. Three things, wear whatever the heck you want. Dressing should be for yourself, not for anyone else. If you like something, just rock it. 99.9% .9 of style is having your own. Number two, confidence, which goes hand in hand with point one. If you're wearing something that you love and enjoy, wear it with pride. And most likely if you feel good in something, that's gonna project out of you. And number three, which I think is the most important, if you don't wanna wear a bra, don't wear one. I wear a bra probably like 
95% of the time. I don't like them. They're not comfortable. I don't like the way they look half the time. I don't want to wear one. And yeah, can you sometimes see my nipple through my shirt? Sure. Do I care? No. Ditch the bras, guys. If you don't feel like wearing one, don't. Now, I'm just gonna show you some of the pieces I've discussed throughout this video, along with just some of my favorite things. enjoyed this type of video if you'd like to see more clothing videos from me just let me know in the comments below i love you guys so much and i will see you next time bye